Welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is going to be on this easy pink glitter eye. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first shade I'm taking is from the Makeup Geek in the Nude palette. And I'm going ahead and taking the shade Buffed from the palette and just using this as my transition shade and blending it out in my crease. Next, I'm taking this deep brown rich shade from the palette. Um, this is Cabin Fever and I'm placing this more precisely into my crease and just blending it out as well. This is basically a half cut crease, so I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer and just cutting my crease with this, and then I'm going ahead and just taking a matte shade from the palette and setting that. But when I was doing this eye look, I had my heart set on a pink matte shade for my lid, but I couldn't find one that was vibrant enough, so I took this pink shimmery shade and put it on my lid, but then I wasn't quite feeling it. So I went in with this pink glitter. I can't remember the name of the website that I got the glitter from, but I will find out and let you guys know in the description box down below. Um, it's called Blushes Pink, but I just put the Too Faced Shadow Insurance on top of that shadow, and then I put the glitter on top of it. And also, I don't know what happened to the footage of me blending out that shade into my outer crease, but it's pretty basic. I just took that same um, deep brown shade from the eyeshadow palette and just blended it out into my outer crease. Um, and then I just kind of patted the glitter to blend in with that shade. And now I'm just applying some mascara. This is from the Balm Cosmetics. This is their Scuba Water Resistant Black Mascara. And then I also threw on some lashes. I can't remember the style name of these, but they are from Ilor, but everything will be listed in the description box for you guys. Um, and then I did my foundation, concealer, all that jazz off camera because I felt like you guys see me do it in every tutorial. Um, but if you guys want a foundation routine, let me know in the comments down below and I would love to do one for you but I went ahead and applied my Balm Cosmetics Bahama Mama bronzer. Now I'm taking the Airspun Loose Face Powder and just baking underneath my bronzer um, and letting it sit for a little bit. My skin has been giving me the worst trouble lately. It's been super dry and so when I apply my foundation sometimes it comes on patchy. It's just been the year of terrible skin for me. I don't know what's going on but I tried to work my best with my skin in this video. And then moving on to my under eyes, I'm taking that same brown shade and just smoking it about halfway on my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the shade So Pale from the palette and using it as my inner tear duct highlight. Um, and then I'm just dusting off that powder underneath my bronzer with a Zuo Fiber Brush. And then for my highlight, I use the shade Seashells from the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. And at this point, my skin was really overreacting <laughs> to everything that I put on my face. So if my highlight looks a little bizarre, are. Uh, I tried my best. I sprayed the Mario Badescu facial spray on top of it and it helped a little bit. Um, and then for my lipstick, I used the shade Montenegro from Lipland Cosmetics, one of my all-time favorite shades. And that completes this look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Something about you and it's something about me that just seems right